Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Life with Kim Z. I visited my mother-in-law and she made some okra soup for the kids and I. So it was really so nice. So this is the process. Um, they wash their meat and bomo, right? So I am not the one cooking. She is cooking with her other daughter, right? So they boil the meat, put some seasoning, beef seasoning. So in the pot is just meat and bomo, right? For now. And they are now adding bonga fish. This is just bonga fish. You need to really thoroughly wash this because it normally comes very dirty from the market. So this is now just the process of boiling and they're going to leave this to boil for like about almost like 30 to 40 minutes because it's really, really strong and it's fire. So thankfully, because of fire now, it's going to be done on time, right? Guys, I really enjoy cooking on fire and I really love watching videos that are being cooked over fire because I feel like fire brings a different texture and a, brief, a different taste. I don't know, there's just something about fire, right? So now they're adding medusa fish. This is smoked medusa fish. But they're gonna remove this before it scatters, right? So this is about it for now. Just boiling all the protein that you're gonna use. Your different types of protein. If you are using your shaki, your intestines, or whatever, this is the process as well. So now they're now putting their stockfish. This is just stockfish, the bone stockfish without any well, only bones because of the kids as well. Then now uh, faith is gonna start pounding crayfish right so like uh this is not really like a village this is like uh, i don't really know how to specify benin in any way like i'm always trying to think what to call benin so this is benin city by the way so mainly they use of course they have gas they have all those things but they just always prefer using fire most times especially if they are using big pots so the crayfish yes. is done here and faith is gonna just throw that in the pot to bring it to a boil with the rest of the ingredients so they've already added pepper my grand my mother-in-law just added uh grinded pepper now and then now faith has also added crayfish so now she's going in with her red oil before going in with the okra okra soup is one like I feel like I'm always saying the easiest, the easiest of everything. But I feel like all these recipes are really, really like straight to the point. It's just boiling it and making sure that your seasoning is balanced and your salt is balanced. Then you now add your main ingredient. Like if it's a goosey, you would probably do the same thing. If it's okra now, it's the same thing. If it's obolo, it's the same thing. Mm, so this That's is it now, guys. It's almost done. Remember that okra does not have blood. So it doesn't have to really overstay and change color. Because it's okra and it's a vegetable, so it really needs to be still preserve that green, you know. You really need to still preserve the green and make sure that it comes out crunchy, a little bit crunchy, so that you have the nutrients. So, what is the purpose of you eating okra if you're not gonna have the nutrients? If you're gonna overboil them and boil them away, you understand? So now they have also added back their melusa fish, and now the last thing that they will be adding is the leaf, and the okra is done then now they're gonna save this with a bye but we did we couldn't take a video anymore because it was very dark but this is pretty much the video guys please if you like this please make sure you subscribe you hit that like button and you comment but the most important thing make sure you subscribe please make sure that you subscribe and thank you for watching bye